Welcome back to the side table series and then this concluding part four. I turn into Cinderella and start trying to match shoes to feet. It's coming up next. Well, not so much Cinderella perhaps as an ugly sister. You think that fitting the feet to legs that you've already shaped to fit a sample foot would be such a simple thing to do. And yet, as we know on this job, nothing in particular has turned out to be simple. Uh, once I chased them up for the feet, it transpired that they hadn't actually ordered them yet, so they were. And when they arrived, I started peeling off the protective tape and offering them up onto the legs, seriously expecting this to be a straightforward five minute job. I put plenty of tape around each leg after they'd been shaped because I didn't want all the layers of paint from stopping the feet from fitting properly. I mean, the last thing I need to do to a finished painted piece is to be having to shape each foot. I mean, that would be ridiculous, right? And yes, now for the Cinderella moment, trying to find feet that fit. So finally get the feet. Uh, next little headache. Some of these castings are really, really rough inside. That one fits really well. This one, nowhere near. So each foot, each leg is going to have to be shaped to each individual foot. It's ridiculous. Uh, but nothing else I can do about it. I can only make them fit the feet that I've got. Uh, but there's two of those so far. I'll try the other ones as well. But uh, yeah, not impressed. I mean, they're not expensive, they're not cheap either. They're sort of eight pounds, 10 pounds, something like that. See, that one's bad as well. It's okay, just a bit. One that's okay, and three they are going to need attention. Not what I need, really. End of the job. Anyway. So we finally get a matched set, and I can start fixing them onto the legs. The counter sinks aren't big enough to take a screw. So the screw stands proud on every one. Okay. It turns out the actual feet vary spectacularly. Some of them will take a three and a half mil screw, some of them need a three mil screw. Goodness sakes. That one's a three mil. That one's three and a half. <laughs> Which is the most ridiculous thing ever. Then it's onto the second table. Yeah, some adjustments needed here, but not quite enough. You know, do you remember what I said about the definition of madness being doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result? Yeah, that.
Anyway, we eventually get a set of feet that fit and I can fix them on. And then move the table to a flat surface for a final wobble check. up quickly. Ooh. And finally <laughs> we get this job completed. Uh, feet all done, paint's looking great. Uh, I can't wait to get these out of here to be perfectly honest. These have been quite a slog, um, cannot lie, uh, hasn't been a happy job at all. Uh, and as fascinating as it is to learn new skills I don't think I'll be spraying any more of these, it's just not practical in a one-roomed workshop like this. Uh, if I had a separate spray room then, uh, yep, that might be a different, uh, a different situation, but uh, I think I'll politely decline any future offers to spray this kind of thing. Fascinating to get a view of it though by, by trying to do it. Uh, it is clearly uh, quite a separate skill from simply you know, plastering paint onto flat panels and doors like I normally do. Uh, but that's it for this uh, video. If you've enjoyed the video, uh, if you've stuck with me through the whole thing, you made of stern stuff. Uh, but if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it freely amongst your friends, and don't forget that the best way not to miss one of my videos is to subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, you might want to hit that bell, then you'll be notified whenever I put up something new. Uh, I want to take a minute to say thank you very much indeed to all my Patreon supporters. Uh, your Patreon support makes it possible for me to keep the lights on here and obviously having the lights on while you're making videos is definitely a good idea so thank you very much indeed uh, from all my patreon supporters there are links down in the video description below on uh, all the ways on how you can support the channel and thank you so much to everybody who does just that but that's it for this week thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care